Hello guys, it's Nick here from the Spartan Trader Academy and we are going to do our weekly outlook for February the 2nd, 2 to 6 actually, okay? So, like always, we start with the Euro US Dollar, which is still dropping like a stone. We had some retracements on lower time frames, so we'll take a look. Remember back here when we started to exchange Euros into Dollars, um, we had setups there, but then on the weekly chart, it's just dropping like this. So only on the lower time frames here we got setups, daily charts, bounces on the trend line using just uh, simply uh, basic rules and trend lines. Price moved lower. You don't even get daily setups anymore. We have actually to switch to the four hourly chart to see the retracements and again bounces close to our 36 EMA and again here we go so the price did not yet break uh, the resistance even on the 4 hourly chart it tried here creating a higher low but it didn't break the line in the 36 EMA so as long as the price stays below here you know we don't look for any longs we still focus on short so we have to see after um, um, the uh, the open this uh, Sunday night, my night uh, in our time zone, of course, here in Europe. Uh, if we see a break and a setup over here, then we could aggressively. We always say aggressively because when we trade against the main trend, even if we have a trend line break on this lower time frame, we trade against the main trend because the higher time frames are still pointing down trying to take advantage of a bigger retracement and target the 36 EMA in area where the price always like to bounce so far right so if we get a setup on the four hourly you can use your four hourly five minute intraday combination to target this and that could be about two to three hundred points up now in case it won't do this as you all know it's already below here so you want to check maybe you find except of the four hourly setups a one hourly setup now you got already one uh, but not easy to take this one because it was before the close on the weekend so you might want to see another one where the price creates a lower low on the chart and then we go for it and of course we target first of all the low uh, which would be about 190 points away at the 1.10 area but if that breaks, we can easily target just by checking actually the monthly chart. And we have even to zoom out, uh, trying to target the 107 area in extension down here, of course. Um, the 1 to 1, yeah, 1 dollar, 1 euro area, which would be our longer term horizontal support area target. Okay. Yeah, that's it for now. Euro GBP, the euro still uh, losing against um, the pound. So if we check this out on the weekly chart, this line has nothing to do with us right now because the price is much lower. But as you can see, it, uh, it does not show any signs of retracements right now. This could be retracement of 300 points on the weekly chart. So next step. Let's switch to the daily. Again, we have a lot of touches, a lot of opportunities to bounce trade this short, just following the basic rules. You had your break. Yeah, support acting as as in the end as resistance down here. And price move lower. So because as you can see it never retraced back more than just to the twelve EMA, we have to be careful. We still focus on the shorts, guys, right? We still focus on the shorts according to um, the plan and um, as long as the price stays below the 12 EMA for sure you can connect more or less three touches there check the four hourly chart see you have to actually draw the line a little bit different than it makes sense most touches here ignoring the spike you can see how nice these spikes works again in bounce trading uh, scenarios lower highs lower lows boom spike price actually moved down again 270 points here again touched the extension of this line scratched it 
bounced off it about 15 points. So what we need now is to make sure that this line breaks before we look for short setups or it has to break up so we can look for longs. In that case on the daily chart we will target again the 36 EMA for now and then we'll see. Okay? Why? Because if you extend the high and the previous lower high and reach, uh, extend it, that's what happens. Okay, cool. GBPCHF retracing um, these nice every pair uh, connected with the CHF this nice drop here right um, actually killed a lot of accounts but now that it is retracing we had a retracement of 1300 points or more already this is a huge daily one two three two short so not just because we retrace, don't get nervous and think, oh great, we are saved, we, we can all now buy again CHF or something. Um, I mean, it's the CHF is stronger against all these pairs. So yes, it's a retracement. That doesn't mean that in this case the pound is getting really strong. Right? It just means that the price retraced and we have maybe a lower high and in the end even if it retraces back to here even back to here the chance that it will bounce and then st start moving lower again is big so you watch very very closely you can trade the retracement on all these pairs like cut chf same thing it didn't break the high on the four hourly so it bounced again if you check the daily chart it looks like this a uh, steep short one two three or ABC setup USDCHF the same yes it's retracing on the daily chart it did retrace a lot but it's now also finding resistance so it could be that after retracing enough that this breaks again and price moves low so if that happens you start looking for short setups again and all these pairs connected to the CHF right um, if it breaks up, okay, then you can start targeting the weekly line and look for setups, uh, for long setups. But for that, you need to actually look, uh, use the four hourly or even the one hourly chart, and only if all these EMAs here really break and the one to three doesn't look as a one to three anymore in the daily, but actually just like a big steep retracement. Okay, so let's let's watch closely. Uh, use the CAD, wonderful, just crazy because uh, trades from here we are in right we took the bounce here like some of our members are still in here we had new trades new members actually starting to trade the bounces here you using the daily chart so just what we always discuss and do in our live room and what happened here again bounces 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 and there are people in since down here some new traders since down here and that means remaining position running with it all already reached the 1500 pips area we have resistance up here so price could move easily another 200 pips before it's reaching our horizontal resistance it doesn't mean that we close everything we just watch closely maybe price want to break this and create new highs and move up four five hundred pips still this is a very 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 powerful move and don't trade against the main trend don't do that you will always at some point uh, regret that always trade with the main trend and always when the price comes back trying to find your support and resistance line so no, no new setup so far except of intraday long setups like on the one hourly chart or even lower time frames like the 30 minute chart aggressive entries but only with the main trend not against it okay gbp us dollar daily we still wait for this retracement didn't happen so we don't touch this pair want to see a break of this line or this line uh, Australian dollar US dollar the same we need a retracement price move down now we want to see if we can get a daily retracement first especially for the swing traders everybody else has to switch to the one hour and four hour chart and even here you still still pushing down we have this range we need setups over the 36 for longs then you can start start targeting the 79 area for now 
seven, sorry, 79.3040, and then we'll see. Euro yen still pushing down. Look at the four hourly chart again. The boss here is the 36 EMA. The 36 EMA is holding, trend is powerful, and every time the price comes back to here, it's still trying to push. So we need a clean break set up over here then we can start looking for longs otherwise lower time frame entries to continue the shorts because you never know it could be out of steam lower time frame entries for sure um, but um, check the higher time frame if that breaks and you get it set up you can start targeting the 36 which is 4 to 450 points away now full hour happy gold and silver uh, traders we had the bounces on horizontal support some of you already in banking about a thousand points on that one um, now a confirmation for the real shorts would be if the price actually breaks this weekly two to three line break right so watch closely on the daily chart this might be something this is a right now a long one two three so if you see reaction here price not moving higher but it really goes up make sure you create a win-win scenario by taking out most of the profits so that means the second part of your trade should be out also if you see that going back up again same goes for gold um, the, our bounce trades now some of you did that already <coughs> some are waiting for bigger spike if you're already short on the daily chart what you need is really uh, making sure now that it retraces, that you create a win-win scenario keeping only one lot running and then uh, you can go for it okay and uh, leave the last lot open and if it wants to crash great if not no problem you have taken profits anyway uh, use the uh, we don't touch yet except of course all the happy um, range traders because uh, between support and resistance here you can actually also do a nice trend line from up there um, only bounce trades here with your spikes or using the lower time frames it's it's an area of about 100 points price needs to get out of here so we can switch to our daily chart and actually take some more decisions the daily short is already in for days um, as a one two three but it didn't really make any profits yet because the price is just re um, bouncing between support and resistance it it looks like it's pushing down right now but it doesn't mean anything we need to see the confirmation we need to see the price breaking this 117 30 40 area for good right and then we can target the lows at 115 80 90 down here gpjpy still the same trick uh, we had a weekly s support here bounce uh, on the daily the same it didn't really it made some profits about 400 points here the previous bounce about 300 points but now it looks still like it wants to go down so we watch closely don't bounce trade it again until it really gives us a direction now so we switch to the four only and draw a line of resistance and price has to come out has to break out of here or here okay uh, Aussie yen this broke we had we were looking for bounce trades again because it worked nicely here and um, if you check on the daily chart by seeing that spike placing an order this only went up about 100 points then crashed so this one didn't work out yeah don't forget your money management rules not every trade will be a winner but if um, like the short traders that took the daily shorts are probably happy or the long aggressive bounce traders not at that trade but it doesn't mean anything look for setups now wait for retracements back to that line or this line and then you actually look for shorts uh, if the 200 EMA really breaks right on the weekly chart uh, CHF yen again great bounces at one two three it's look at how powerful these weekly lines are right price came back maybe some news announcement and then what happened 
um, we have also the CHF included so when we had our announcement there in Switzerland what happened it came down it touched that line okay and then look at this went up like two and a half thousand pips so nothing ha these things all happen for a reason you don't just think that the news alone are doing that right news are announced when price is reaching a nice area so all the big guys the big banks can really invest okay now GBP Australian dollar bounce trade also very powerful some traders in here are in here still I posted some uh, um, charts on our blog so well done look at this 200 EMA in combination with a trend line horizontal support in this area also so we had everything here and what happened price was ranging nice bounce rate with a stuff about 100 points this went up all already a thousand points breaking the previous high so that's the way to do it right now of course because it could be out of steam we don't know everybody wants to bounce trades on daily chart has to wait for the price to come back down uh, everybody else that still wants to get into this long trades I wouldn't do it it's out of steam I don't like how the chart looks so look at the four hourly draw your support lines and then you can try it out uh, using aggressive bounce trades if the price actually hits and spikes on this in this area otherwise uh, I'll leave it for now there are other pairs looking better uh, New Zealand dollar yen again when we ch switch to the weekly chart we, we could have a bounce trade but it also is a steep uh, retracement so it could also just go through uh, we have to check the daily chart now we have that spike now that we have this big spike that we also discussed in the live room we could start placing an order to buy and if the price really wants to go up yeah then it will probably hit uh, s at least first and second targets to create a win-win scenario okay so that was all for today I hope that helps you with your analysis and your trading and guys don't forget our upcoming workshop and we will start in February the 10th don't miss it it will be great um, and I'll catch up with you soon you can also click at this link here to read more about this workshop okay see you soon bye